Nestor Hernandez was on parole and wearing an ankle monitor. By the time he walked into Methodist Hospital Dallas on October 22nd, authorities say he had violated his parole by failing drug tests, missing curfew, and cutting off his ankle monitor. But he wasn't sent back to prison. The lack of accountability is costing us lives. It's cost us Jackie, Katie, and others. Police say Hernandez beat his girlfriend after she had just given birth to their baby. In an exclusive interview last month, she talked to us, saying Hernandez was drunk and turned violent, beating her while she held the baby. He would have died too. We're just like, it's just, it's just crazy. I don't even know why he did that. Like. I kept asking him too, like, why would you do this? Selena Villatoro says Hernandez walked to the door and shot caseworker Jackie Paqua and nurse Annette Flowers after threatening to kill anyone who walked through the door. Their murders outraged the community, police, and lawmakers who wondered why Hernandez's parole wasn't revoked. They were stunned to learn it isn't a crime in Texas to cut off an ankle monitor. So State Representative Rafael Anchia and other lawmakers are sponsoring bills to change that. Anybody who cuts off an ankle monitor, regardless of which type, is going to serve not only the rest of their sentence, but also uh, is going to be charged with a state jail felony. Hernandez had permission from his parole officer to be at the hospital, but no one told security. Another proposed law would change that. Hospitals have to be notified by the Board of Pardons and Paroles when offenders step foot in their buildings. While Hernandez is charged with capital murder in the hospital workers' deaths, a new law would also make it a third-degree felony to assault any hospital employee. We have to realize that some days emotions run high, but we need a safe place for the patients, the patients' families, and of course, the health care workers. Representative Anchia says the bills are a way to try and prevent something like this from happening again. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.